بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورحمة الله وبركة الله عليكم. Uh, this is a very very serious matter. It is actually playing with blasphemy. Astaghfirullah. Because it is something that charges God with failure in that he was incapable of preserving that which he calls himself a guide, a mercy for mankind. For that is how the Torah, the Zabur, the Imbiyat, well, Injil, this is how they have been qualified even in the Quran. To say that the Bible has been corrupted is a very serious charge. And not only does it go against what the Quran teaches, but even the early commentators of the Quran have testified in such a way about the previous scriptures that shows that there is no such charge. What does the Quran say? For the Quran does not speak about a corruption of the text as is alleged against the Bible. The Quran does say that some people have committed tahrif. It says that there is among them, meaning the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians of Muhammad's time, that there is among them a section who distort the book with their tongues. That particular passage does specify the nature of the tahrif that is spoken about. It tells us that they distort with their tongues. And so this distortion with the tongue is essentially a tahrif filmani. There is no question here about tahrif bil lafz, which is a corruption of the written text itself. So this is why I insist, Ya Muslimin, no matter what the Quran. Do not think or even say what is not in the Quran.